Have you seen uh, Jeff respond so far after after that game? You know, um, I knew Jeff like after the game. I know Jeff. He's a guy that he's gonna wear the weight of the team on his shoulders. That he's just the type of guy that wants to succeed so much. And uh, I knew he would bounce back. He's bounced back phenomenally. And um, it was the first game and his first time playing at Nebraska. So so there's always gonna be a lot to clean up. Um, and it was a tough loss, but um, there's a lot of positives we could go on from now on. What are the key cleanup items, I guess, for the whole line? Kind of look at the first week and how you want to jump it forward in the second. Yeah, um, I, I think, again, like I said, it was first game. Um, there's a lot of things we need to clean up. Um, just small technique issues, um, making sure our eyes in the right gap and pass protection. Um, same balance in pass protection. We had we gave up two sacks there in the third quarter, um, and just making sure we're finishing on our guys. Um, we had a that last play, um, that, uh, what do you call it? That fumble. We just we want to have a fumble there if we if the line just finish on their guys. So. Oh yeah, I um I, I grew up a huge Nebraska fan. Um, my grandpa, uh, he's passed away now, but I remember he had like um, Colorado stuff, like Nebraska, like Colorado week. I remember growing up, uh, and that was huge. That that Oklahoma and Miami, those were the guys that we always we never really played when I was growing up, but I just would hear legends of the rivalry, uh, all the. Uh, rivalries we would have so yeah it was I'm, I'm excited uh, I, I played I was there in 2019 and um, was a freshman and uh, didn't play that game so it'd be really uh, it's gonna be awesome to just play against them this this year so you know it was like it's like going a that was a big rival um, the, the crowd's pretty the uh, they don't like us too much, but I think the one thing that stood out last time was how much uh, Nebraska fans were there. And I'm hoping this year is going to be the same. I remember um, looking back and we had like a sea of red. So um, yeah, it's um, it's going to be it's going to be bumping um, with, after they won t against TCU, um, and then for us, uh, close game against Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota, it's going to be it's going to be a good atmosphere. The first game you ever, first Nebraska game you ever went to away from home. I mean, did, did you, I know it was as a player, but did you ever go anywhere before that? Um, no, that, I think that was our first game away from home. I think uh, we played Southern Alabama, and then I think we went up there. Nebraska play outside of Memorial Stadium. Uh, yes, I believe so. Yep, I uh, I only made the home games growing up. Um, never made it away game. So saw those whenever it was thirty thousand people in red at that game did that did that, did that shock you in that moment having never, never been over yeah game? I wouldn't say it would really shock me um like I said I'm growing up I just know how passionate the fans are and um it like I knew like for me it just reaffirmed how we have the greatest fans in the, na in the nation so um it wasn't too much of a shock just because I knew a lot of people that were going up anyway so I knew there's gonna be a lot of red that would show up to that game you watch uh, the Colorado game live Sorry. Yeah, we as an offensive line um, and a couple other people on offense just watch the game. We watched a couple games. Um, uh, having a game on Thursday, we had a Friday recover, and Saturday was just go out and watch football. So when that, that game comes to a close, and you see the celebration, and you see all the people talking about Colorado and all that stuff. What's going through your mind about being getting locked in already by then to, to play this game? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of noise i always say there's a lot of noise especially with um i remember i looked at twitter one time and everyone was going crazy and um it just comes down to we play a game a football game 60 minutes of football so no matter what happens um, no matter what people say um we're gonna watch the film um you know look at their techniques see what we can do against them and uh I don't know. It doesn't really matter what everyone else says. It just matters when the whistle blows. Uh, sorry, on Saturday at 10 a.m. So, front 
do they have and what what defense did you see them running up to? yeah so they kind of throw kind of a lot of they have odd even a lot of different fronts um yeah it, it's kind of hard to tell um especially how fast the tempo was that both those teams played um i think they played pretty basic just for the fact they needed to get set up in something but um it'd be interesting that's the we only have one game on them and um, all the players there are transfers. So um, it's gonna be interesting to scouting them and we just gotta watch a lot, lot of film this week, so. How valuable was that just to get one look at them with all these new players against a quality team last week? Against oh, was, I was, we were talking about that the other day. I was like trying to scout those guys for the first game when it must've been a headache, especially for the offensive line, just because you have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, new coach. Like I said, every one person on their defense was a transfer. And it was like, it's kind of hard to know how they're going to play off each other and um, how much they've changed or what, how the techniques that the coaching staff um, that they brought in was going to change um, their techniques. So yeah, it was, it was good just to get them on film and um, see what they're kind of playing with, so.